In this video, I want to show you the cloud storage integration that is in Fumara 14. So let's go ahead and get started here. As you can see, this is my computer screen and I am at the home page of Fumara. So as soon as you open Fumara, you are going to see this page where you have all your projects and quick access uh, to a lot of things. Now, what you want to do is go over to the left pane here and you're going to go where it says Fumara Cloud. So go ahead and click on that. And as you can see here, you're going to be presented with a cloud interface. OK, now there's a couple of things on the screen here that you're going to see. Now, if you're not logged in, you're not going to see these things because these are specific to my account. So you want to make sure that you're logged into Fumora and you actually have uh, this Fumora cloud uh, uh, feature. Right. So you can see here, if you just look at the top, you can see that I'm using the free version. So they do have a free version. You don't have to purchase. But if you do want to purchase, you can go ahead and click on expand and you're going to see the different uh, plans that they have. If you want to purchase uh, more storage, that's if you're using this full time. I only use it for, uh, you know, maybe a couple things that I'm working across, you know, different computers or, you know, maybe I'm in different locations. So I'm able to um, easily access those. And when I'm done, I just go ahead and delete them. So I don't really need a lot of storage to store a lot of things. OK, now we go ahead and hit cancel here. Now on the top here, if you want to go ahead and access your cloud space, you want to go ahead and just click anywhere on here. You're going to see that it says click to open cloud space. So click on that. Uh, give it a second. It's going to open up in the web browser. As you can see here, this is going to be uh, the web browser that opened. OK, now let's look at this here. As you can see, uh, you kind of like have a little intro here if you've never opened this or sometimes they'll do this uh, to just introduce you to new features that they have introduced uh, in here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit close over here. All right. So as you can see here, if you look on the left hand side here, you have your menus, so your start your recent, your templates, your clouds. And on the bottom here, you also have your storage space here. OK, now, if you want to check out some templates here, go ahead and check those out. You can go over to your recents here. Uh, if you have uh, stuff that's in here, you're going to be able to see that. Go over to your templates. You can, you know, scroll over this and um, and uh, check it out. Now, I want to go over to cloud. OK. So give it a second. So you can see this is how the cloud uh, looks like here. Now, if we look over to the left hand side, you can see we have a couple of options here. So this is going to be my assets, which is things that I've saved in here. It's categorized by uh, my media files here. So these are, you know, um, you know, all the media files that I've uploaded uh, in the cloud. You also have your scripts. So if you have that, it's going to be categorized under here. You also have your exported videos. So if you've uh, exported videos into the cloud, you are going to be able to see those down here. Okay. Now, if you look down here, you also have a shared um, uh, 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 panel here. Now, this is going to be where if you have something that was shared with you, this is where you're going to be able to access this. Or if you've shared something with someone and you're going to be able to access it through here, I'm going to be showing you how to do that in a second here. You also have a favorite section, right? If you have favorited a bunch of things, you're going to see them uh, in here. You also have a recycle bin here. Right. If you deleted some stuff. All right. So let's see uh, some of the things that we can do when it comes to uh, this uh, here. So on the top here, you can upload a new script. Right. So you can hit upload and give it a second. And in here, you are going to be able to draft your script here and uh, it's going to be able it's going to be added to your uh, cloud storage. All right. So let's go ahead and go back. You also have media here. I'm pretty sure this is what a lot of people are going to be using this for. So if you want to upload a uh, media here, go ahead and hit add media. You can add, uh, you can upload a file, a folder. Uh, you can create a folder. You can even, um, you know, create an AI image from here uh, to have in your cloud uh, storage. Okay. Now we also have the section here that's called the file transfer manager. So if you're transferring files, you're going to be able to see the progress uh, down here, right? If you go over here, uh, there's also, you know, little other things that don't really matter as much. Now, let's say that you wanted to create a file to send to someone. Um, just quick note, the script that we're trying to create, you see that it's already saved over here, even though we didn't actually create the script, right? So let's say I wanted to upload a file here. So let's go ahead and hit upload. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this video over here. Hopefully it's a short video and uh, it doesn't take too long. As you can see, it's shown under my file transfer manager here, right? So the progress is now done. 
All right, you can even clear completed task here, or you can actually open the folder over here where it's saved. As you can see, it's under my media, under the assets um, panel and uh, under the media section here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clear completed task. Go ahead and close that. Now, this is my video here. So let's say I wanted to share this with someone else that is maybe in a different country, maybe in a different city, or maybe they're in the, ne in the room next to me, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and click uh, where it says share right here. So if you hover over uh, the media file, which is in this case, is a video, go over to the left hand, upper left side, you're gonna see where it says share. So go ahead and hit share. All right, so now you're gonna be presented with a couple of options here. Obviously you have your link, and one of the things you have access to or the option to enhance is gonna be, you know, when can this uh, link expire, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, change, right? The first thing you wanna do here is gonna be to enable that anyone with a link can view, right? Because if you're sending a link to someone, you wanna make sure that they can actually view what you're sending them. So enable this, right? Now you're gonna be able to enable these two other things. Now, if you have this disabled, you're not gonna be able to uh, use these two other things here, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and enable anyone with a link. Now, what do you want this person to be able to do? You want them to be able to review or, you know, in terms of when they click the link, they should be able to download and save, right? That's usually what you want people to do. So go ahead and enable that. And if you want to password protect this, you're going to have the ability to do so. So if you hit password protect, right, you can see that it's going to auto generate a password for you here. Okay. This is going to be the password. So every time you create this, it's going to you know generate a different password. So it's never going to be the same password. So it's important that you note this password down. Now, one of the other things that you might want to do is going to be when you want this link to expire, right? Maybe you don't want them to have access to the link forever. Maybe it's for a day or for you know a couple of weeks. So go ahead and click this uh, uh, this little uh, note here. Uh, that says that's next to forever, which is a default uh, setting here. So click on that. And now it's going to present you some options. When you want this link to expire, so you can do one day, seven days, 30 days or forever. Okay. Standard is maybe 30 days. Um, so as you can see here, it gives you the time, right? Uh, and things like things of that nature. Okay. So now once you have this, go ahead and go back to your settings and I can copy your link and I go over here, try it out. As you can see, this one did not have a password. This is what it's going to look like to the person that's receiving uh, that uh, video here. They're going to be able to download this if they want to. As you can see, we have a download button here. They are going to be able to download uh, that video here. OK. All right. So now that is pretty much it when it comes to how you can use uh, this integrated uh, cloud storage in Fimora. As you can see, you are going to be able to uh, send files. You're going to be able to receive files and you're going to be able to download those uh, different uh, media files. Now that is pretty much it for this lesson. I'll see you guys on the next one.